A couple of weeks ago, I heard a local home builder say that realtors should stop using the term resale home when talking about a home that someone has already lived in. He said we should just cut to the chase and call those houses used homes. We talk about used cars or used clothing, for example, so why not used homes? And is there really any difference between a $450,000 used home and a $4,000 used car? This is a divisive topic, so let's take a closer look at new construction versus resale, aka used homes. Is one really better than the other? And more importantly, is new construction really worth the premium price you pay when buying a brand new home? Builders argue that once a home purchase is closed, there's a dramatic joy gap between buyers who bought new builds and those who bought used homes. According to the builders, people who buy new builds can focus on moving in, unpacking, and decorating, while those who buy resale homes have to focus on hiring contractors to remodel, refurbish, or repair the home, a process that may take months to complete. As a realtor here in the Boise, Idaho market, I would argue that this isn't an entirely accurate claim. There are people who buy brand new builds and immediately start making structural changes, repainting, or even tearing out and redoing some of the features added by the builder. For example, changing out all the hardware, rebuilding the pantry, or switching the electric range for a gas range. And there are new builds that have warranty issues and other problems that the builder or homeowner has to deal with. But this is not to say that people who buy used homes face no repairs or remodeling. Many of them do. Even the most well cared for resale homes can have problems, sometimes big problems like a roof or an HVAC, and many buyers do choose to do repairs or remodeling once they moved in. It really depends on the home and the buyer. But it's not fair to say that all used homes need a major overhaul. They just don't. Plenty of people buy resale homes that need no updates or changes. What we can fairly say is that a new build home should be fairly free of problems, often for years to come. The heating and cooling system, roof, plumbing, and the structure itself are all brand new and with regular maintenance should give the homeowner years of use with little worry. Everything should be under warranty from appliances to the HVAC. With a resale home, the warranties have often ended. Getting a home warranty isn't a bad idea with an older home, especially if you don't have much money set aside for repairs. But whether you buy a new build or a used home, you've got to do the regular home maintenance tasks. Things like changing out the furnace filters regularly, opening and closing the foundation vents when the seasons change, and especially keeping water from entering the roof, attic, or crawl space. Even the nicest new home can be seriously damaged if the homeowner doesn't take proper care of it. I do my, encourage my buyers here in Idaho to be wary of homes that have been flipped. That is, someone has bought an older home, did some repairs, and then quickly resells it. The problem with some flipped homes is that the cheapest repairs are usually things like new carpet and paint, cosmetic repairs that look good but don't address serious problems under the paint and carpet. It's like the old saying about putting lipstick on a pig. The pig may look great, but it's still a pig underneath the cosmetics. Always make sure you ask your agent to check to see how recently a particular home may have been sold and then put back on the market. Have your agent show you the photos from the previous sale. This can help you and your agent spot a flipped home. You'll want to do the best possible home inspection you can before buying any home that has been flipped. And please don't misunderstand me. Not all flipped homes are pigs with lipstick. Some flippers do a terrific job of remodeling. They put a lot of money into repairing or replacing the truly expensive stuff, not just the cosmetic items. One area in which new builds really shine is in being designed for current lifestyles. When the pandemic hit, lots of people started working from home, which meant a huge demand for home offices. You're much more likely to find a dedicated home office in a new build than in a home from, say, 15 or more years ago. 
you're also likely to find other modern design preferences in new builds. Uh, examples would be a mudroom, a great big great room instead of a living room and dining room, an RV garage, multiple garage bays like four, gigantic walk-in closets, pet washing stations, even charging stations for electric vehicles. Community amenities in new build subdivisions may be more in line with what buyers want nowadays. Things like pickleball courts, miles of walking paths, or dedicated dog parks within the subdivision. We do have to remember that for many buyers in this age of high home prices and high interest rates, those are just over 7% when I'm making this video right now in September 2023, price is going to be the deciding factor when deciding between a new build and an existing home. If you compare new to used of the similar size and amenities in the same area, that new build is probably going to be noticeably more expensive. The question is, how much more will I end up paying over the long run for repairs and remodeling if I buy a resale home? If you're handy and can do some repairs or replacements yourself, you may not care much about the answer to that question. But if, on the other hand, you'll need to hire contractors to get the work done, then you're going to have to figure out if you can afford the repairs you want and need to make. Get a couple of local contractors to give you quotes before you finalize the sale, not after. Buying a home that you can't maintain properly is never a good investment. For more on home maintenance tasks, be sure to check out this next video, and please give me a like or leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching.